Okay, guys, there is a major problem in Pokemon Go right now, and that's a fact that you see the gym right there, the one I took over yesterday? Yeah, those pawn scum and Team Red took it over. So it's up to me, or it's my civic duty as a representative of Team Blue, to head down the street and kick their butt, and eradicate too. So that's what I set out to do this morning. I set out to go on a little adventure, uh, find some more Pokemon, level them up a little bit, and uh, we're going to try and take, take back that gym, the one that's rightfully Team Blue's. We claim the first, that is ours. Look, even the Zubat's blues, he clearly knows Team Blue's where it's at, and we'll ignore the fact that I'm trading him away right now, <laughs> poor guy. Uh, and that's something I actually focused on this morning, is uh, better learning how this game works and powering up my Pokemon, especially in preparation for that gym. Because uh, if you trade away Pokemon, you will actually get a candy for it, and you can use that candy to level up your other Pokemon, or whichever ones you want to focus on. Um, you can also evolve them as well. Now here's something else I'm doing here for the first time, is I'm trying to add a Poke Pokestop module um, onto the Pokestop here, and you'll see me actually figure this out in a second. And, uh... Uh, so, and you, the way you do that is you tap on the thing above the Pokestop, the little blank area there, and then you can just slide up your Pokestop module onto it, or tap it onto it. And what that'll do is, it will uh, summon Pokemon, or uh, lure Pokemon to that spot for 30 minutes, and this will also affect anyone else in the area. So anyone else who stops by the Pokestop will also reap that same benefit, which is kind of cool. And you can see a whole bunch of Pidgeys have shown up, which, god, I, god knows any more of those. Um, yeah, now, uh, just to clarify, I, of course, am recording this after the fact, once again, since it's not really easy for me to record my own commentary while I'm out in the world. However, I actually was able to capture the exact game audio this time. Um, so yeah, you can actually enjoy the music and sound effects this time, uh, at least when I'm not talking. So, even though there are a bunch of pages here, I do want to capture them, one, for the XP, and two, again, trading them away will give me more candy, and you'll see me, um, pretty soon start leveling up a Pokemon in order to, uh, better prep, better prep them for battle. Yeah, come to me, my Pidgey. So many Pidgeys. And you also get candy as well for capturing... I, I forget if I just mentioned that, but you do get candy for capturing the same Pokémon. Um, and speaking of Pokémon, I have 30 of them now, evidently, so I am on a Pokey roll here. Come on, Pidgey, you should be flying, so it looks less janky when I'm walking and trying to capture <laughs> Pokémon. So hopefully you all are having fun with the game so far. I know the servers have been kind of up and down. In fact, I run into a major server issue later on, which we'll touch on which we, when we get to that point. Um, and there were a couple other issues here or there. So here, I'm actually trading the Pokemon away. Got candy right for it, right from that menu. Um, which is really handy. I didn't realize I could trade Pokemon away the moment you caught them. So that actually helped streamline things a bit. And we'll actually be putting together a tip video pretty soon. I believe Derek's working on that. So if you're still coming to grips with Pokemon Go, uh, we'll have a starter guide for you that'll help you out, hopefully. Uh, it'll probably even help me out. Because I'm still learning how all this works uh, myself. So, um, of course, once you trade Pokemon away, it's gone for good, there's no getting it back. Uh, which is probably fine, especially given how many are probably, of the same Pokemon are probably in your local area. Hey, look, there's a Caterpie! My first encounter with a Caterpie! Encounter P! Ah! Alright, come on. Bam! First shot! One shot of that guy. Alright, I need to, uh, I should, uh, I should try to evolve him, actually. I need, I need to go catch some more Caterpies, I guess, first. Um, I do want to get a Butterfree, though. That would be pretty handy. Man, I was actually seriously starting to think I wasn't going to encounter any more new Pokemon in the area. Oh, is there one? Is there another one behind me there? Oh, I don't think I saw that earlier. I don't know which one that is, but... Instead, I went, on, went for the Zubat instead. Great, another freaking Zubat. Even though they are Team Blue, so I can't, can't begrudge Zubat too much. See, it's moments like this, like, especially with the flying Pokemon, they really do look natural in this world. And, okay, and you can see the cable hanging in front of my cell phone. That's the one that's going to the camera in my pocket to record the audio. So please, you know, just ignore that cable. <laughs> Alright, so I think I transferred this guy away too. Oh, maybe I didn't. Alright. Not sure why I decided against transferring him away. Um, so yeah, you're, we're starting to see some of the same Pokestops I've already stopped at in the past video or two. Um, I will branch out eventually, but, you know, I have to do my work from home, so I tend to explore the same area mostly. Or so far, at least. Although I, I did mention I went downtown yesterday. I just didn't record that, so... Alright, so we're trading away a few more Pokemon here. I'm starting to get ready, but I'm starting to get close to the gym. Um, so I want to make sure I'm fully prepared to take on this gym leader. And I'm evolving Pidgey! First time I'm seeing an evolution. Right. 
Sweet. There we go. Got Pidgeotto. Just in time. So I think I'm going to power, yeah, I'm powering up this guy. Increase their CP level. Which, uh, again, is essential for these gyms. Oh, my poor Poliwog. He's the one I put on the gym yesterday. You can see he got the crap beat out of him. Um, he only had one HP left, the poor guy. So I'm actually going to do something else I haven't shown off yet, and that is restore his health with a potion. Man, my poor Poliwag having to defend that entire gym by himself. And he just got creamed. I'm still upset. Alright, let's get a Spiro who's hanging out inside the car somehow. Or right, or right outside it, I guess. Okay, I guess, oh, were there two here? I guess so. Come on! You can do it! Got my aim with, the, with these guys, it's... Especially when they, like, jump around and stuff. Alright, so we've amassed, we've amassed a small army here of, uh, largely worthless Pokemon, but... <laughs> hopefully they won't be worthless forever. Alright, so you can see we're about a block and a half, or I guess about two blocks maybe from the gym. So we'll be there shortly. And these are some small blocks. These aren't even full blocks, so... And we'll check out some Pokestops along the way. Um, I actually am walking this entire time, so... Even while checking out Pokestops. Um, the only time I really stop when playing Pokemon Go is for some of those battles, and that's mostly just... Uh, for recording them, although it actually is a little bit easier to target them when you're not moving around too. So now there is something kind of funny coming up. You probably, I don't think it'll, sh I don't think you'll see any sign of it in the video, but I'll tell you about it. All right, so I'm checking out the gym, looking at my competition. It's too far away, but not for much longer. I wonder if I ran there, if the avatar would run on the map. I, <laughs> I don't think she would. It would, it would be kind of funny though. Alright, so I think I'm just doing a quick perusal of my Pokemon, seeing if there's any other uh, ways I can enhance them before the battle, and I am loving up my Bulbasaur, or powering him up, rather. Look, he's gaining some HP, his CP's going up, this is all good. Alright, my Poliwag, or Poliwog, whatever, is almost fully healed, just missing one HP, but that's okay. Now, as I'm powering up all these guys, I'm actually walking toward the gym, and here's a thing that you're not going to see, I just realized, and that's the fact that, as I was crossing the street, I almost totally ate it uh, on the curb. I had just crossed the street, I was just reaching the gym, and I'm almost at the gym at this point in the video, and I just almost completely ate it. Like, I had to do, like, uh, you know how when you trip, people often do that running thing to kind of play it off? I had to, like, legitimately do that, otherwise I was going to faceplant completely on the ground. So, yeah, that was a little bit embarrassing, but... Anyways, here we are at the gym, we are ready to take on this guy. Uh, looks like it's Aloya and his Raticate. Um, and there's, uh, he has a CP of 113. You can see my team right there that we're going to tackle him with. So we're going to tap on Go. Now keep in mind, this is my first time at a gym and doing any kind of battling. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, let's see how it goes. Once I actually figure out how to start the battle here. Maybe you should click the Go, Andre. Jeez. Alright, here we go. Alright, Poliwog's up. See how he does. Oh no! This is, oh god, he's almost dead already. And he's out. Wow, so no wonder Poliwag got destroyed yesterday. Now keep in mind, I had no idea what I was doing. And I, you can see, I just now figured out that I can move the Pokemon around by sliding on the touch screen. So you actually can dodge attacks. Now I'm sure my timing is horrible. I had, I couldn't hear the game. And I also wasn't sure what the proper timing is. So, anyway, so yeah, you can you can dodge left and right by sliding your finger in that way. You can also attack by tapping on the screen. And that's what I'm doing here. So I actually am getting some damage in. So the rat cave is actually almost dead. Or passed out, I should say. Or fainted. And I'm actually doing a decent job dodging these things. So, alright, Radicate is down. Uh, now, unfortunately, Doduo is up. Um, so I guess you can, you can have multiple... 
uh, Pokemon at a gym, or multiple trainers can put Pokemon at a gym, so this is a second trainer now. Alright, see if- so it's Doduo versus Doduo here. And that, that's an actual Doduo, wow. <laughs> Doduo. Doduo duel? I don't know. Uh, Krabby, wow, Krabby got- I think he got destroyed. Alright, let's do back, come on, finish him off. Oh man, Zubat's almost dead. Alright, Zubat pulled off, I won! And we can see uh, his uh, rating or whatever number dropped from 2,000 to 1,500. So they are still in control of the gym. So I do believe it takes multiple battles to actually remove them from a gym. And you, yeah, so you can see, again, 1,500 out of 2,000 right now. So, um, so I'm going in for round two. I'm going in for round two. Let's see how this goes. And this time it turned on AR. So the battle is actually more like the other Pokemon, um, you know, uh, fighting we've seen. Where it actually does take, where the camera actually does change relative to how you have the, uh, your, you know, your phone. Um, you know, positioned around, but there's no actual background this time around, so it's a little bit different in that regard. Uh, so as you can see, my Bulbasaur, I think, just got destroyed as well. My Duo Duo got knocked out, but this guy is really low on health right now, so this is really good. Um, let's see what happens. Oh man, I'm just getting wrecked. Come on, Nidoran or Nidoran. All right, Zubat's up. Come on, you can finish him off again, right? And maybe not so much, because here's a problem we ran into, is the fact that uh, the server connection just completely died at this point. So it seemed like the servers went down at this point, and it just stayed on the screen um, with a little Pokeball rolling in the corner for minutes. And I stayed there for a while, and nothing ended up happening. So unfortunately, as far as I know, um, I think the battle still may be ongoing on my phone even. Actually, I can check right now. Let's see if it's still going on. Yeah, it still shows up for me. So I think I may actually have to quit the app. But I think it just hung up right now because the server connection never went through. Alright guys, I think that wraps up for today's Pokemon Go entries, and thanks so much for watching. If you liked our video, make sure to like and subscribe to us if you want to see even more of these videos. And rest assured, there will be more Pokemon Go videos. And yeah, just keep that on Gaming's playing for lots more on the game and other things gaming as well. Catch you later. Bye.